listened to and I really enjoyed in some parts Silk Sonic album, right? Silk Sonic, a collaboration between Bruno Mars, Anderson Pack, and their band um put together an album that was fairly good of a listen but maybe a bit underwhelming considering the level of talent um that kind of exists between those two people in Bruno Mars and Pack. you would have thought there'd be a lot more punch to the album maybe a few more heaters on there but so far I've only really seen three stand-up tracks that I'm going to replay again and again but I thought I would have got more personally but again you know it is what it is but the more important part about it is this article courtesy of pitchfork it says silk sonic Bruno mars and pack perform smoking out the window at the ama's 2021 i'm not going to play of course because any second of i play this music is going to get immediately copy strike hit but effectively this was a great performance right looking at them they all look amazing um they've all got these red velvet suits on um the shirts open um they've obviously got maybe residues of coke on their nose they've got really sparkly shoes they're spinning around they've got tinted glasses they look the part right and what we can say for sure is that the live performances sold us on this album first when the live performances came out or when maybe one single came out and live performance off the back of that it kind of made us believe that this was going to be the greatest album of all time unfortunately under delivered but what i think was might be a thing going forward for people like this or groups like this or maybe these little experiment experimental projects why don't they do a thing where instead of it being a, a physical album in terms of tracks like one two three duh, duh, why didn't there is a mix up where they just do like hey we're gonna make an album where we're gonna have some tracks are live and some tracks are recorded or just have an album full of just recorded music that's been performed live because that's why we feel this music resonates and sounds the best obviously have this you know the performance feeding through it but a music board so it's not picking up maybe crowd noise whatever right have it done how the old bands from back in the day used to do right the iron maidens the metallicas and shit they'd always make make live albums that were really good especially when they performed that you know historic kind of legendary venues and shit but being able to re-listen to that event that you went to or if you weren't there kind of filled the essence capture the vibe of it it's great hear the crackling and whistling of the amp you know next to the guitar people wailing in the background someone saying i love you all this sort of shit was really cool to hear and i think artists like bruno mars or artists like this like silk sonic would probably benefit from that approach a lot more. I say that to say similar to somebody like a Playboy Carti, right? Playboy Carti, I think, has some very unique way to approach a live show. It's very theatrical, very performative, but he doesn't really stand there and rap the bars, right? He's usually kind of screaming and ad-libbing, kind of, you know, a quasi sort of diluted version of a punk show, because even though punk shows, they scream and they shout, they're still actually saying the lyrics of their songs. Even if you're not, you can't discern or you're not able to decipher what they're saying, they're, they're still saying the lyrics. So, I would have liked to have heard there be a news that Playboy Carti is doing this narcissistic tour that he's kind of feeding all the vocals into a board recording into a zoom and he's going to put out a live album that's going to be mixed down and made to sound right that would be great to see or maybe a live dvd but whatever just some sort of live accompaniment that people can see what you sound like or what you look like when you're performing the songs live because I think the live performances of Playboy Carti's whole lot of red has definitely improved my listening experience of whole lot of red in the same way that listen, watching Silk Sonic perform on these shows um, made me believe that the album was going to be far better than what it was going to be. And if anything, the album didn't match to the live performances, right? So it all goes back to the live. The live is the one I feel like it really kind of punches or pushes you through because there are some artists who exist out there. Someone like a Drake is a good example, even like a Kanye, who sonically, they're able to make great album songs that just sound great on the album and maybe don't sound as good when you play them live i you know like i think of robocop is a good example of a song from kanye um that doesn't sound maybe the greatest when it's played live i think maybe wu-tang forever from drake sounds great recorded doesn't sound that great live so they've got those abilities to do that right and i think um some bands have to or some groups have to be able to do the other way around so i think i would like to see that some way it's not going to happen of course because most musicians are cheap and recording music live and putting it out on an album or a dvd is incredibly expensive if you're already spending whatever they spend silk sonic on the band because they've got a full band who are also dressed the same as them they've also got all the staging and production shit if that's the case and the cameras i guess they've got bespoke people to come in and do the cameras a particular way like they used to do them in the old school um you know 70s 80s shows that they're taking inspiration from that's going to cost a lot of money so i'm sure they don't want to eat into any kind of profits they're meant to be getting or appearance fees by doing so but i would like to see that i really 
really think it would be somewhat beneficial and would actually look good. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you don't agree with me. But let me know what you think in the comments down below if you would like to see more musical acts do more live versions of their albums or of their EPs, whether it's kind of recorded or whether it's recorded in audio format or video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that.